Hey guys, it's Heather, welcome back. Today, we're gonna be doing my updated brow and lash routine. So this is like my go-to for when I need my brows to last all day and stay in place and when I need my lashes to look the way I want them to look. And this has been my go-to routine. So we're gonna do top to bottom. We'll go through the routine and I've listed all the products down below. So let's go. All right, let's show a quick before brow. So this is how they look. And then the lashes before. So back in like the 90s, early 2000s, I really over pluck them. So I have a lot of like sparse areas as you can see, but they used to be so bushy when I was younger. So don't over pluck them because you'll regret it later. So there's a few main products that I always use. And if my brows are just like getting really just out of shape and not looking right, I always go back to the Anastasia brow stencils. I've been using them for a long time. I don't use them too often, but if I need a little help with shaping, I love these. I really like the high arch. So the brow pencils that I always use are the CoverGirl in the shade medium brown, and then the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade medium brown. No, I'm sorry. The CoverGirl in soft brown and the Anastasia in medium brown. So today I'm gonna use the CoverGirl, but I really like them both. So there's two options, one at drugstore and then one at high end. But before we do that, I'm gonna show you the lash serums that I use and that I love. I like the Revita Lash, I think advanced a little bit better than I like the Lash Food. This is the Lash Serum. And the Lash Serum is more expensive too. But today we're just gonna do, I'll show you how I do it. I do a little bit of Lash Serum. I don't do this every night but I try to do it like as frequently as I can remember. So I'm just gonna show you how I do it. So basically you just go in. What I do is I hit it like right almost above the root. So you don't wanna like get it in your eye, but you wanna just kind of brush it along. So I just go like this. Just do like a paint it on like a thin line, almost like you're doing a liquid liner. And then do it on the other side. It's a little bit hard to show you because my mirror is like down here we can always zoom in. So what I believe this does is it just helps the lash at the root to not fall out. I think it just lengthens the cycle of your lash. I could be totally wrong, but I think that's what it does. And I definitely take a break from using lash serums. Like it's not something I do every single day of the year. Like I kind of go in ebb and flows, but it is always something that really helps to strengthen and my lashes always look all in their best. Let's start with the brows. I'm just gonna fill them in and then I'll show you what else I've been doing with the brows. Just a quick note though about the lash serum is I typically do this at night. So like after I've showered, I do it. I don't do it before makeup. So I'm just showing you that part for the sake of the video. So if you're struggling to where to start your brows, I like to start right here. As you can see, there's a couple of sparse hairs. So I just kind of play off that and I'll make like a little dot just to get myself started. And I like them to have like a slight lift because I want my eyes to appear up and lifted and not heavy. I have more loose skin here and I find that if I were to just do it like straight across, it would hang down. So I like to kind of play on the natural shape of my brow. So as you can see, like there's hairs in here and I would always recommend don't pluck them, especially when you're getting close to this area unless you have your brows the way you like them because then there's a tendency to over pluck. But if it's like random hairs down here, then of course I just pluck them as I see them. So I'll just kind of start to lightly follow the natural shape of my brow and drag that along. And then I go up to the top section right above it and just very gently follow the line. And then I always like to kind of go up to this hair, like the top hair that I have right here, and then just fill that, and then drag it down. And then come to the bottom, and then meet the top line to the bottom line at the tail. Just kind of play off the brows that I already have. So once I have that done, I come in and I just kind of flick up gently in here to fill this space in. So I definitely have some hairs, but I have a lot of stragglers. So I'll just kind of draw that in. And I try not to do it harsh because you don't want it to look like boxy or blocky. Then I'll just gently 
brush this through. Next up, I don't do this every day, but if I want my brows to look like really perfect and I know that they're gonna last and that there's gonna be nothing smudging or fading off through the day, which I will say with the CoverGirl and the Anastasia, I don't really have that problem. Obviously, like if you take your hand and you're like rubbing it or something, then yeah, it's gonna come off. But I like to use some brow powder. I've loved this for years. This is the Brow Gal because I mix these two shades right here. It comes with a little brush and a spoolie that I use. So what I do is I just dab in the brush that it comes with and I'll do like one dab into the dark and then one into the middle and just kind of go back and forth. I think mine is in the shade. I think it's just called brown, but I'll link everything down below so you can find it. So then what I do is I just tap it in just kind of fill in that baseline. As you can see, it just got dark there. So I just go in once and then I take it vertically and just stamp it in. So I'll just kind of stamp it and then wedge it. And then I trace over the hair and then I'll brush it through. And I just find that it really sets my brows and the color into place so that I'm good to go for the day. And then the last thing I do for my brows is I do like to use a serum or a gel. So drugstore, I like the e.l.f. Wow Brow. I think it's great, it's affordable, it works, color's good. They offer like three or four different colors. But if you're looking for a clear brow gel, I do love the Anastasia one. The spoolie on this is really just phenomenal. So if you're looking for just something clear, I would recommend getting the Anastasia one. I'm not sure at a drugstore price point what would be equivalent to that for like just clear, but I do like the e.l.f. Wow Brow. So then I'll just go in and I like to comb them up and then I go back and just kind of flatten them out a little bit. That is pretty much what I do for my brows. So that's the one without it and that's with. What do you guys think? Now once you have like your mascara on and everything, it all comes together, but what do you guys think? Do you like it with nothing or do you like it with the brows? Whenever I have my brows on and I go downstairs, I don't have the rest of my makeup on, my daughter is like, what did you do to your eyebrows? She tells me I look crazy when I have my brow on. So it's like a Jekyll and Hyde moment. All right, moving on to mascara. So I have the serum in, I've been using the serum, and then I use my eyelash curler. Just go in, give them a couple pumps, nothing crazy. Then I just kind of fluff them up. I love using a lash primer. I think anyone will work. I just prefer the Lash Paradise one you can get at the drugstore, it's super cheap. L'Oreal has a bunch of really good lash primers. I honestly haven't tried any high-end lash primers. If you have one that you think is awesome that I need to try, let me know down below. So I would just go in and I coat just my top lashes. I don't do the bottoms because if I do this on the bottoms, they're gonna get way too like um, spider legs. And then I'll black specks all under there and I don't want that. So I put the lash primer on, I let it get nice and tacky. Another thing I love about using a lash primer is I find that when you're taking your makeup off, so say you're in the shower or you're just washing your face, I find that the mascara actually slides off the lash much easier. I feel like it almost provides a protective coat and I feel like I lose less lash, if that makes sense, when I'm taking my makeup off. So if you know me, you know I'm a huge fan of layering mascaras. It's how I achieve the look that I want with my lashes, which is like very full and voluminous, but then long and separated. <laughs> so a couple of my favorite mascaras that I absolutely love are the Lash Paradise, which is, I call it my step one mascara. Another good one is the Essence Lash Princess. I love this one. This is specifically the Curl and Volume mascara. Now they also have the green one, which I feel like most people are more familiar with. And that is excellent too. The L'Oreal Unlimited Mascara. I don't hear this one talked about as much. I'm not sure why, but I think that this is one of the absolute best drugstore mascaras. The Wand Bends, I love it for my lower lashes. So these two are like universal mascaras. I feel like they can just do it all. Whereas the L'Oreal Telescopic, which is one that I use as like a second mascara to kind of finish the look, separate and lengthen, is just really good at making your lashes nice and long and separated. So I'm gonna go in here today with the Essence Lash Princess for my first mascara. The wand is great, it's nice and thick. 
and fluffy. It's got like that taper in the middle. And I just go in and I coat it root to tip, nothing crazy. And then I'll get in the bottom and just kind of give it a wiggle. Like honestly, we could be done right here. This mascara just works so good and it works so good with the primer. It just really enhances it and I find that it lasts all day and it sticks and there's not like flakiness or fallout. The key is to go in with the second coat when your lashes are still tacky. You don't wanna go in with them super wet and you don't wanna go in with them dry. So going in here and just adding to that base coat, making sure everything is nice and coated. So I'm gonna give that a couple minutes and then I'm gonna finish up here with the L'Oreal Telescopic. And this wand is perfect for elongating and really separating your lashes. And I get the carbon black and it makes your lashes dark. Like if you want dark black, this is your go-to. So I'm gonna do the bottom now and I'm gonna use the Unlimited Mascara because I love how this wand bends and it's really easy to just get right in there. So we're gonna do that, let the top lashes dry, and then I'll show you what I do after. I don't do a ton of mascara on the lower lashes because I find that it just gets, they get too long and then I have like a line of black specks. Let's let that dry and then I will show you how I set the lashes into place. All right, so my lashes are pretty dry now. I go back in with my eyelash curler. I just took a paper towel and wiped it because you want to make sure it is clean. You don't want it to be goopy. That's the key to getting this step to work because you could also catch your lashes and make them stick and rip some out. So you got to be careful here. So I just go in, get them in as best as you can and then clamp down gently once you know that they're all in. And then I just kind of take my finger and push the lashes up. And then release and then gently just peel away. So this side is done. I am going to do this side now and I'm gonna speed through it. Okay, so they are both done. So this is how I've been loving doing my brows, my lashes lately, and that's pretty much it. So I hope that it was helpful. Again, I will link everything down below and list it so you can find it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.